Hello, Leo. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Four Swords. Hmm, the Emperor. Nine of Cups. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aries. This is someone else's energy, usually. In that position. So there could be a new beginning with the Fool and some... If this is your six of wands, just fell out my lap. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to pop it up there. Here. Okay. Hey, man, I'm seeing something. To, wow. Okay. Well, hello. So I don't know if this is your energy or if this is someone else's. Someone is just waiting. But then it's like the longer they wait, they're seeing that something is not working out. In fact, someone may be pushing them away or like it's their heart broken. This could be the emperor energy, because this could be a man or a woman, someone who, who might be very angry, but not showing their emotions. I feel like someone could be boiling like on the inside. They're really pissed off right now. But um, seeing something differently, like they thought they were going to win. They thought they were going to be victorious with the six of wands, but that's not what happened or is going to happen to them. Six of cups is in reverse. So to me, that's just like not going back to the past. Not reflecting either, hoping for something new, hoping to move on. The Two of Wands and the Star card. What is the Seven of Coins? Holding on, strength. I feel like someone wants to go back to their younger years. Like they want to go back to their glory days. Like they're looking back at the past at how they used to be when, you know, they were at the top of their game. They're really good looking or they're really, you know, made a lot of money or attractive. Someone may be getting, like they thought they were going to get a better reception than what they're getting. It's like someone who's now like aged quite a bit. I'm not saying this is you. And now that they're no longer like what's at the peak. Like now, you know, what was popular 20 years ago is not popular anymore. Who, you know, people age, things change. So you get it. So someone's like looking back at the past and like, wow, it was really good looking or hot or everyone loved me back then. And they're not getting that same reception when they go out. Um, people, they want to almost like they want to hang on to their glory days. It's kind of what I'm picking up here. And, you know, reminiscing is fine, but it's like they feel like they're still in that energy and people should treat them this, the same. It's like they want to be relevant again. They want to be popular again. It's almost what I'm seeing here. Like they want to be a star again. This could be a woman too, of course, just because the emperor here. This could be a woman who's feeling that way also. Someone wants to be in the limelight. This is full energy. I feel like there's something to do like an agent. Someone may have an agent. They may use an agent, a talent agent, but somebody who, yeah, someone who's going to tell them that they're going to make a lot of money or something, but they're not going to. Like this person, it's king of coin. I feel like is a shark. Like they are, they are a devil. Um, it's communication. What is this ace of wands? This is a weird reading. I don't know if this is yours. Not moving forward. Or wanting to go back. Wanting to go back. So this person wants to come back to you, Leo. They could be any sign, but I'm thinking they might be a fire sign like you. But um, So they want to go back to the glory days of like when you guys were together. They don't want to move on. They So maybe it's just a metaphor for them wanting to rekindle that romance that you guys had at one time or that passion. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. Or like when you guys were together, they felt like they ruled everything. Like they were just in, they were in command or they could, they could command people to do what they wanted. Devil, the Ten of Coins. Because the challenge is a new beginning, the fool. But it's, I don't think with the devil and then the hermit here, that's going to happen. Things change. Like people change. So time has passed. It's not the same anymore is what I'm getting flipped around. Chariots in reverse too. Wow, you have the Six of Swords in your reading, the Chariot in reverse. Was it Six of Cups? The Six of Cups being in reverse, like not going back to the past. Or maybe not learning, but that's interesting. Like maybe they told you they would never come back. They would never go back to the way it was, something like that. They were going to move on and become a star or something. And now they want to come back to you because like they're realizing the best times they have were with you. I think... Aries just had that reading and I said in their title like don't say I told you so when this person comes back to apologize 
that is kind of the same energy. Like this person was so puffed up with ego. And when they left, it's like, oh, I can get any guy or any girl to fall in love with me. And I'll have lots of lovers. And, and they went out there and started dating. And then they realized, well, holy shit, nobody that interested in me. Didn't, or didn't turn out the way I thought. Or you know, they're coming back on stage and people booed them off stage. You see what I'm saying? Is that, let's see what I'm saying. Because Six of Wands and they see something different. It's not. Or, you know what? I've seen that too in readings where people think they're going to go out and date. Um, especially when like maybe middle age or older even younger too, but it's like, it's just not what you expect. The people are just not what you expect. It's, you think it's going to be all fun and games and you find out there's a lot of crazy people out there and people who are liars and it's not fun dating. So maybe this person thought, oh, I'm going to go out and just date and meet someone new and this and that and start all over. And, and it's, they're like, wow, this is scary out here. These people, um, cause this person, you know, he kind of looks like he's afraid in the four of coins. So I guess someone in a position here who is reminiscing about the past well, they're kind of like almost shell shocked about where they're at, like reality. The interesting thing is, though, they are waiting. The Four of Swords is like, okay, I got to just stop here because I can't, you know, I just got to gotta sit down here. This wasn't what I expected. Challenge is the fool, though. I kind of feel like this person acted foolishly. And the challenge is to come back from this, maybe. I'm also getting though clearly that for somebody, this person wants to go back to the way they could control other people and they can't control other people. Now, I don't know if that's specifically you, if you had children with this person, if they're a boss or something, but I get with like they're looking back on glory days of when they could, you know, command a room or control the family members or something like that. They're going to come back and try to spark things with you. You're going to see if they can possibly move in with the four of wands that I'm picking up or it's like they kind of want to brush things under their carpet. Yeah, because I'm getting like, let's, let's not talk about it. Let's just go back to when we're happy. Let's skip the past 10 years or so and just go back to like 2010 and we'll be happy. We'll just be like, we won't talk about that, you know, that three of cups, that little indiscretion over there. We're just, you know, kind of like it never happened. Wanting to turn something big, like the Nine of Coins, into something bigger or telling you. Seven of Cups in reverse also. So that's like secrets coming out. Something being revealed, knowing the truth, knowing what's really in the cup. I thought like they're going to come back as this knight. Like they they only have like knight status. Maybe they were an emperor, but now they are a knight. And they're going to try to embellish with the Ace of Coin. I actually, you know, I feel kind of like though you're going to have, you have more than them though now. I think the tables of turns I'm getting. Um, you are going to have a, something else show up for you. It's kind of like they're going to be surprised by how well you've done, how much you've changed, how more, much more confident you are. You're like, well, I don't need your tiny little coin. I got this over here. And they're kind of like shocked by that. Like, wow. And for some reason, I'm getting this might be a fire sign. Or, but, but again, sometimes like if it's not a king, if it's like a king of coin or someone who had money, who doesn't, who no longer has money, they've lost it or whatever. A lot of times they will show up as a different suit. A lot of times it will be the King of Wands, I noticed. And they want to come back and be happy again to, and be the way it is. I'm seeing arguing and possibly passionate over passion arguing or pa arguing over past money or something like that. I don't get this person's unstable, which is interesting. At least not in this reading. I don't get that. I'm just saying that because this, this is like a lot of passion and this is the water and this is this person. Um. Why is this coming through this way? What is the sentence, Spirit? What is the point? It almost feels like fluff. It's almost like it's inconse inconsequential. Did I say it right? This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter to you. What they have to say and what's being here doesn't matter. You've moved on. They don't know what to do. Okay, Spirit, what else can you tell me about this reading? The energy's dying. I'm sorry. It just like boom, kind of went out. It's like, okay, move on from this. Okay, so they're reminiscing. We know that with the camera card. They have something they want to tell you with the sword and rose. They are definitely watching you. They want to start over. Dating card is like starting all over. Planning and setting a date. And they're going to tell you that they, you have the key to their heart. You guys are soulmates. And this may be true. We have a lot of soulmates. But they are going to be reaching out okay, and telling you all this. Okay. So be prepared because... You know, what, you know what's funny is now I'm kind of getting like, well, is this person out of their mind? 
because then they told me here, but no, they're not. They're saying they're fine. But I'm getting like, is this personal? Really? It's like they want to go back 20, 30 years and start over or 10 years or five or whatever the timeline is and start over with you and be like, okay, let's just start over because they want all that back. They want what they had with you back, but now they're no longer an emperor. They're a knight. And that might be a good thing. If they're a mean emperor, um, that's a good thing. But if they were like an emperor who had it all, but threw it away because they wanted to, you know, chase someone else or something else, then, you know, it is what it is. What is Leo need to know the path a path is going to open up and peace number 28 now it's interesting because we started with this and that to me is the peace card he is at he is at rest he has at peace so again this might be you reminiscing also about the past the past hurt someone who left you someone who just kind of bailed on you left you high and dry and just moved on to something else someone else um there's a reason this is coming back around and there's a there's something that's going to be revealed to you or you're going to find something out and i don't know how it's going to benefit you if it's going to I don't think it's going to give you closure. I get something else you're going to find out. But something's going to come about this that's going to show you some sort of enlightenment or something. What is this path to me? Something else. Abundance. That's what I'm getting, though. That's kind of weird, though. An opportunity. I don't know how this would bring in a new opportunity for money, but I was getting two because this there's an eight on here. I almost feel like something you've learned of this whole situation would benefit other people. You could teach other people, show other people, or you know, help them through the same situation. Um, you've been there. But, um, oops. yeah, I, I don't know if there's some sort of helping. This, these just kind of fell apart. You want to counsel other people or share what you've learned with other people? That makes sense. I'm going to go to this deck here. Soulmates and Separation. I can get it together. And pull cards for those that want to know what this person might say, like why they did what they did. Sometimes I found these to be super helpful. Uh, not necessarily for me, but just for private readings. Okay, what does this person possibly want to say to Leo? And I feel like this might also have something to do with, I think in retrograde is going to be coming in around June. Some sort of relief or something like that. So I'm not sure why I'm feeling like retrograde energy, which I know is not, you know, for a little while. June through October, I believe is the next one. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. Absolutely. I struggle with love and expressing it. It just does not come easy for me. That is emperor energy. I was dishonest with you and myself. I lived one big lie. I am still healing. Yeah. And I'm scared you will not accept me now. Okay. Let me look at my decks really quick. Is there something else? Yes, yeah, so tell me. Something else Leo needs to know about this reading, about the situation with this person. This is a twin flame for some of you, a lot of you. That's interesting. So they did come out as soulmate. So whatever label, whoever you call this person is fine with me. But there are this card says this is a divine counterpart connection so it is important but that's what i'm getting like this is important there's something else that's gonna come up with this coming back around or coming some sort of closure that's going to bring you in more peace maybe even more abundance and abundance of course is something else like money but i do get like an opportunity so one more please for this here and now your true love is already part of your life <clears throat> I don't know if they're referring to this person or someone. I don't think it's someone else. I don't think we're going down a new reading, but I feel like this, okay, okay, thank you. This person is realizing that you are their true love. No matter what happens between the two of you, what, if you, you know, tell them no, you don't want to talk to them, and whatever, they're going to realize that you were the love of their life. Thank you. You were their missing piece, or you guys are like pieces of puzzle, whether, you know, that fit together perfectly. And they're missing you. And they're missing that. And they're realizing that now. It's part of their karma. They needed to understand that in this lifetime or they were going to carry this over into the next lifetime. And so it's a karmic closure. It is an ending of a karmic cycle. Okay. All right. So you are part. You're the true love for them. All right. I'm going to leave it here, Leo. Have a great week.